go. Ready. In the zone. Round. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little bit. Come on. Oh. Oh. it is Demi. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I sound like a robot. What am I doing? We'll start this over. Thanks a lot. Hello Cherubs, it is Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome. For today's video, this is going to be the first video in a series that I'm starting on my channel. Now, in terms of series, it's probably going to be a spaced out series in terms of like the videos being filmed and produced and put onto my channel. However, I'm very excited. Probably the most excited for this series than I have been for any series on my channel. I am the type of person that I feel like I think about doing things all of the time and I think about different experiences, but when it comes to actually doing them, I don't really do them. There's a lot of things I would say in my life that I've wanted to do, I've thought about doing, I would say is kind of on my bucket list, but actually in reality when I think about it, I always think I'll probably never do that. Well, for this series, I want to do it. So, I have a bucket list of things that I would like to do. Some of them include my biggest phobias that I want to conquer and some of them just are fun things that I really, really want to do. Therefore, I thought it would be a really, really good series to do things that I've never done before. So, in this series, I'm going to be doing a whole range of things that I've never done before for the first time. And today, we are kicking the series off with a gymnastic lesson. Yes. I'm 24 years old and I'm having my first ever gymnast lesson. <laughs> I mean, I can just about do a cartwheel. I can't do a handstand because the few times I've tried that, I've nearly broke my bloody back. But I can do a cartwheel. So, pretty much a gymnast already. For today's video, I'm going to be going on my first ever gymnast lesson. Now, I'm so, so excited about this. And this video wouldn't be possible without the help of my friend, Kate Stanforth, who I really want you to go and check out. Kate is an inclusive dancer. She runs dance lessons for people of all abilities. And I admire this girl so much. Like, I literally admire her two bits. And I would really appreciate it if you could go and check out her Instagram because she deserves so much more recognition, love and attention than she's got. And I would really appreciate it if you guys guys could go and show some of that to Kate but when I say I'm doing a gymnast lesson I am doing a gymnast lesson I am doing a gymnastic lesson with a gold medalist yeah so I mean the pressure's on a little bit I've got to get my best cartwheel skills on for this video so I am very very kindly being invited to Craig Heap's gymnast gym to have a lesson with them and i'm very very excited for this video because gymnast is one of them things that i am literally obsessed with the way that i see people move their body when they're gymnasts i just look at them and i think wow wow like that just looks fab now i know that i'm not going to come out of an hour's lesson and be able to flip myself in the air 10 times like that ain't gonna happen but i'm just really excited to be able to do a gymnast lesson maybe i might be able to do a split by the end of it probably not but we'll see i'm going on my first ever gymnast lesson and i'm so excited to bring you along with this if you like the idea and concept of this series i would really really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up some of the things i've got in my mind i definitely want to do a dance lesson but all styles of dance i want to do ballroom belly dancing ballet a bit of hip-hop like i want to do every style of dance lesson because i love dancing i'm shit but i love it so that's definitely on the bucket list i want to do a singing lesson so that is on the bucket list i did acting before as a kid but i definitely want to go back and do a little bit more acting i really want to skydive now i have the biggest phobia of heights so that's probably going to be the end of the bucket list but it is something that i would like to do and another thing i have the biggest 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 phobia of the sea so i would really like to be able to do something on the sea but i don't really know what yet but that would be really good if i could do something sea oriented but again that's probably at the bottom of the bucket list but anything you would like to see is doing this sea 
series leave it in the comments below because I just want to make this a full series of me having experiences and doing fun things that I never thought I would do in my life and gymnastic lesson at the age of 24 is definitely one of them things so yes I'm excited off we'll go to the gym off we'll go we better do our stretches let's go to the gym right guys so as you know i'm starting a series where i do things that i've always wanted to do kind of like a bucket list series and today i'm doing the first ever one since being young i've always wanted to take a gymnastic lesson i'm not flexible in the slightest but it looks really fun so today at the age of 24 i'm going to be doing just that with the help of a very special someone and that might just be me uh, my name's craig heap i did gymnastics for 20 years so i think i'm in a good position uh, to teach Demi to a few. how bendy I really am. <laughs> well, we'll see how we get on a little bit. Uh, but in those 20 years, I've become British champion. Uh, I've represented Great Britain at the Olympic Games in Sydney in 2000. Won two Commonwealth gold medals, 19, 2002. I did Google and see all this and I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go easy on you. Nope. But we are going to have a bit of fun. Yes, and that's what all this series is about for me. Trying new experiences and just having fun. Don't take yourself seriously in life. That's what I want to portray in this series. Is it doesn't matter what age you are, you're never too old to try something new. <laughs> So, would you like to tell us just quickly a little bit about your gym, the centre, how it came about, how long you've had it? Uh, well, we haven't had it that long. We've been locked down for more time, yeah. uh, more time than we've been open. <laughs> uh, but this is Tumble Gymnastics and Activity Centre. Uh, and as a kid, uh, I always thought, yeah, maybe I'll be good enough to do gymnastics. And then when I stopped doing gymnastics, I realised it is a really cool sport <laughs> at the fun side of it. Uh, and I really wanted to get a centre in the community where people could come and not just do gymnastics and serious gymnastics but lots of other things so we've loads of things going on we've got a really cool coffee shop we've got a studio uh, we've got a fitness gym we're looking to uh, develop the outside space into a bit of a community garden uh, the coolest thing in here though down there we've got the big sponge pit yes. and we've got the trampolines which you will be diving into don't yes, worry I'm so in. <laughs> we are super safe here uh, and we're very inclusive so anybody is welcome from babies right up to my dad who's like a pensioner so you can all come and have a, uh, a go if this is something you think you or your children would be interested in i will have all of the details for the gym link below as well as craig's instagram and everything like that so without further rat -a -tat -tat, let's see me do some gymnastics right okay first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to get warm because it's so important we get our joints moving and flexible certainly before we do the warm so we're going to have a bit of a run around yeah. the cool thing about this centre is we've got lots of equipment okay, okay. so you've got to be careful as well where you're running yeah. follow me right. okay you're not Nadia coming at your best friend <laughs> just yet all right uh, but we'll have a little bit of a run around then we'll do a little bit of stretching and then we'll get on the operator so remember keep two meters apart yes i know you want to get close to me <laughs> i can feel it but you keep those two meters yeah come on okay we start before we start going through and all of a sudden the obstacles put a couple of little dolls in there feel a bit there you go you can kick a balloon there you go get that here we go <laughs> Time, one foot in front of the other. God, I've got two left feet. There we go, there we go. Spin on it, it looks so good. Oh, right. what? Woo! Yeah, come on, come on, come on, yeah, there we go. And again, up the block, middle, ah, top. And up, 
and uh, look to one side. Now, same straddle. Okay, not bad at all. I'm just going to see. You're very flexible, actually, that's quite good. I always wanted to do gymnastics, but you know, I said I wasn't put out for it. <laughs> Mum, watch this space for you to listen to your daughter. <laughs> First that way, we're going to say now, I'm down the side, and we're going to put our leg across our body on the other side. That's it. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Nice little stretch. I'm <laughs> back. The other way. What's that foot? Don't be playing foot with me. <laughs> I'm a married man, you know. <laughs> right, so this piece of equipment is called a fast track and it's relatively new to gymnastics. Okay. When I say relatively new, probably the past 30 years. So okay. it's a really good training here because it's not as hard as the floor. It's quite bounced, just have a little jump up and down, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like a trampoline but a little bit tighter. Okay. Alright, so it's great for learning. Uh, basics and it's also just less pressure on the body. Okay. So basically, it's a bit like Simon says, but Greg does. Right. Oh, I say you do. Okay. All right. So we're just going to get used to jumping like this all the way down the track. Just jumping down, right? And then take off the right here and go. Something like that. A bit like a flying frog. Alright, let's see it now. Here we go. Oh! 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 Right, I'll take it. Right, take two. Here we go. Take two. Oh. Composure. Last take off position wants to be just about there. And go! Yeah! <laughs> Did I land like a frog? Well done. <laughs> Ready. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Woo! Oh god, these are horrible. Oh, going down, going down, going down. Yeah! Right, that's the last we saw of Demi. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, I'm taking over the challenges now. <laughs> right, you must have dropped in at school, yeah? Yeah. All right, we're just going to have a little dance. So you, the idea is to try and stay on the cross on the middle. Yeah. But by looking forward at Kate. And then a little bit of... Oh! We're going to try and do a few little different jumps. So star jump, star jump, tuck jump, knees up, pipe jump, star jump, tuck jump, star jump. Jump around. Back down the half turn. Chris, the other way. Oh, well done. And again, another half turn. Back down. Good. I want you to check it out. Make sure you're staying in the centre of the trampoline. Now, do a quarter turn face me. Ah! Hello. 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 Now, another quarter back to the camera. Here we go. That's it. Good. Makes your hair go fluffy, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, right, half turn again. Forward, absolutely fine.
try and do two, two jumps here. Come on here, just going to go one, two, right. And you might find that a bit easier. Okay. Just relax a little bit. That's it, yes, yeah, stop. Yeah. What? That was it. <laughs> I still felt too far away. You're fine, honest, as you jump that far then. Come on, you can do it. Go on then. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Yeah! I did it. I don't want to be here all day, you know what I mean? I've got things to do. <laughs> right, here we go. After three. One, two, three, go. Gentle, gentle, look at me. Yeah! Woo! There we go. Perfect. Right, now Demi's mastered the trampoline, we are going to move on to the gymnastic apparatus, starting with the B in the bars and maybe a little bit of vault. Do you think I'll beat the Olympics next year? Well, it's a good job they postponed it, because oh. <laughs> you can make it now. Yes! It might have been a bit, it might have been a bit tight this year, but you've got 12 next months, year. so you'll be absolutely fine. Oh, you'll see me on telly. Right, Demi, the next thing we're going to do uh, is some chin-ups on okay. the bars. And I've got some magic choke. Ooh. Okay, that stops you uh, slipping off. So you're going to put a little bit of that on your hands. Yeah. All right. And you're going to get up and we're going to see how many chin-ups we can do. Right. right. So I've got a challenger. Okay. It's the Olympian versus the YouTuber. Oh, Is that right? yeah. I can just about reach. Here we go. So, one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, Seven. Eight. Eight. I think I can beat that. You ready to beat that? Right. Right. You can beat that. Right, bring it on. <laughs> right, so what we need to do is put the mat yeah. on. So it... Yeah, yeah, move that chops. Three, two, one, go! See how many you can do. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Not bad, not bad. It is, Ooh. hang on. <laughs> I'm not going to be on your skin, there's any time to be <laughs> Right, okay, then we're going to do a cartwheel. What do you like a cartwheel? Uh, all right. Some sword, done a few after yeah. a night out. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Uh, right, so this is what we've got for beginners. It's the cartwheel mat. It shows you where you're going to put your hands and where your feet are. Obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate, but I'll be lying on the floor. So if you've got right arm, right leg, you've got to think one, two, three, four. That's a pattern. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah? So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Right. right? But I want you to do it on the mat. Right. Yeah? From which side do you do it? That side? Yeah. Okay, because we've got, you see the beam over there? See the big beam? Yeah. That one up there? Yeah. Go on. That's where we go. Do you need a cartwheel? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sky down and be a dog like Better this. Better make the ambulance now. Alright, here we go. Right. So lift it's hard when you pull that up. Well, you can put your feet a bit further back because yeah. that's where Diddy first is. Right. But I want your hands in the middle there. Right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, the, the finale position needs working on. We need okay. expression. Okay. I want this. Go. Ready. Ready. In the zone, round. <laughs> I'm trying to like flick out. <laughs> Didn't work. You were thinking about the presentation yeah. before the actual move. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Gotta focus, gotta focus. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> the good thing is, we've got five hours to practice. Don't move all this stuff. Almost got to keep it in front of you in that frame. So, what's this? Yeah, and can you see on here, the feet go there, there and back, and what's that is? Yours are going over here, so you're going to have balance. Okay. Alright? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes! That's it! <laughs> so was that amazed by how good it was forgot to present? <laughs> Sorry, it's just the fact that she put a hood up at the end and it was <gasps> like... <laughs> I can't remember the last time I tried to do a cartwheel on a beam. The good thing about these training beams is they're on the floor, yeah. they're a lot softer, so if you fall on them, uh, and you haven't got far to fall, a little bit wider. Right? Yeah. And 
without one you're going around the side, you've got to go over the top in a straight line. Right? So you almost think about going forwards into this, and then as you come out, you'll be facing that way. I'm trying to sound like a professional here. I have no idea about cartwheels are going to be, but we'll give it a go. Somebody said it's like riding a bike. The faster you go, the easier it is to balance. Okay. I was fell off your bike. So let's see. Here we go. Now, can you see? I'll pay you. Yeah. You'd have hit the deck. I'd have hit the deck. I'm a little girl is a lot more difficult than it looks, okay? Yes, it is. Uh, so we're going to move up onto the big beam, but we're not cartwheeling up here. Do not worry. Okay, onto the beam. Uh, now, then we're going on the high beam. I think the competition is a little bit higher than this. So we're onto the beam. Want to see you walk to the middle, okay? Bear in mind, I'm not a beam specialist, okay? We're going to go for the arabesque, showing up our flexibility and balance. Oh. Then we're going to go oh. looking forwards. Oh. I feel like I'm on time, but I've got naked with long poles. Here we go. I'm going to the end. Oh. And big jump off. Ah. Ready? And then present. Okay. And okay. Yeah. action. Look forwards. Chin up. Graceful, beautiful. Get a bit further, a bit further, a bit further with your socks. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now, arabesque, whichever leg you want to go on. Mm. Well done, stay on! Yes, 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 yes! Oh. <laughs> I was so close. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah. Fingers beautiful, poised, graceful, determined, balance. Mm. Wrong leg. <laughs> Take 300. Demi on the beam, good. Look forwards. That's elegant work. Slow, slow, slow. Oh! Rush. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Two. This is the one. And arms out. Take your time. Beautiful. Stretch those fingers. Head up, look forward. Take your time. Into the arabesque. That's good. Slight adjustment. Come on, come on. Fix. Arms out. Arms out. Arms out. Arms out. Big dismount. Present to the camera. Yay! Come on, Demi. Right, here we go. Big girl stuff, yeah. This is the Olympic Bean Final, Tokyo 2021. Into the middle, she's got a tricky combination. It's a very difficult arabesque. Yes. Oh! She's off, but she's getting back on. Can I just, can I just say, actually, when they do this for real, you, you don't get another go, that's it. Once you're off, that's, that's it. it. So come on. Focus, take your time. Boys. Here we are live in Tokyo representing the Geordies. It's the YI lasses. Beautiful. Balance, balance, balance. <laughs> balance to the end. Yes! It's a goal. It's yes! a goal. Okay, so this is the end of me doing my first ever gymnastic lesson in 24, thanks to Craig. Absolute pleasure. How did I do? I think you did exceptionally well. Got great determination. Mm -hmm. Confidence came throughout the session. Yeah. Fantastic flexibility. Whoop whoop, see like me. A duck to water. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my first ever video where I'm trying things that I've never done before. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out Craig's socials below. And yeah, without further rat -a -tat -tat, I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye! Bye! Rat-a-tat-tat! Rat-a-tat-tat! <laughs>